neutron stars, even though they are distant and mysterious, have played a significant part in shaping our modern lives. In fact, you wouldn't be able to watch this video if it wasn't for these celestial giants and the role they play in maintaining the delicate balance of our universe. You may be wondering what makes neutron stars so different from normal stars. Well, one fact is that neutron stars are so dense that if some of their matter was put into a glass of water, it would have the same mass as Mount Everest. But how is that possible? How can a celestial body that is relatively unknown impact our daily lives in such a profound way? What role do neutron stars play in the greater cosmic landscape? Let's take a closer look. Neutron stars are like cosmic powerhouses, among the most extreme and intense things out there in the universe. Despite being only a few miles wide, they pack in a mass as huge as entire stars. Imagine millions of billions of trillions of tons of hot plasma pulled inwards by gravity. Gravity squeezes this material together with a powerful force. At the same time, this violent compression triggers an immense release of energy as the nuclei fuse. Hydrogen changes into helium, letting out energy that pushes against gravity, trying to break free. But what happens if this delicate balance is disrupted? Well, as long as this balancing act continues, stars stay pretty stable. However, as the hydrogen fuel gets used up, stars undergo a shocking change. Medium-sized stars, like our Sun, go through a giant phase. They burn helium into carbon and oxygen before becoming white dwarfs, the leftovers of once shining stars. When it comes to stars that are much larger than our sun, they react differently when their helium fuel runs out. At that point, the delicate equilibrium between pressure and radiation starts to shift and gravity gains the upper hand. The star gets squeezed even tighter than before. In this intense squeeze, the core of the star heats up and burns even more vigorously. Meanwhile, the outer layers of the star expand, swelling by hundreds of times their original size. This expansion allows the star to fuse heavier and heavier elements in its core. As a star progresses through its life cycle, the fusion of elements becomes a captivating sequence. Carbon burns and transforms into neon over the course of centuries. Neon, in turn, transitions to oxygen in just a year. The journey continues with oxygen evolving into silicon within a matter of months. And ultimately, silicon undergoes a swift transformation into iron in a single day. However, this journey concludes with a pivotal moment, the star's demise. Iron, serving as nuclear ash, has no more energy to give and cannot undergo further fusion. The fusion process suddenly halts, disrupting the delicate balance. Without the outward pressure generated by fusion, the star's core succumbs to the immense weight of the layers above, leading to a dramatic collapse. What comes next is both awe-inspiring and a bit frightening. Picture this. Electrons and protons, typically keeping their distance, find themselves forced together due to the immense pressure of the collapsing star. They fuse into neutrons, forming a tightly packed ball akin to atomic nuclei. This ball, made mostly of iron and roughly the size of Earth, condenses into a tiny, city-sized nugget of pure nuclear matter. But this collapse is not just limited to the core. The entire star implodes, with gravity dragging the outer layers in at an astonishing 25% of the speed of light. This inward collapse rebounds off the iron core, generating a powerful shock wave that explodes outward, launching the remaining parts of the star into the vastness of space. What unfolds is something known as a supernova explosion, a spectacle so intense that it outshines entire galaxies. What's left in the aftermath is a neutron star. Despite having a mass roughly a million times that of Earth, it's compressed into a remarkably compact object, a mere 15 miles in width. The density of a neutron star is mind-boggling. If you were to gather the mass of all living humans, it would snugly fit into a volume of 
merely three cubic feet of neutron star matter. In simpler terms, that's about a billion tons compressed into a space the size of a sugar cube. But what would happen if the star was even denser? Looking at a neutron star from the outside reveals an unbelievably extreme celestial entity. Its gravitational force is second only to that of black holes, and if it were even denser, it would transition into one. Light itself is bent around the neutron star, allowing observers to see not only its front, but also portions of the back. The surface of a neutron star is a searing 30 million degrees Fahrenheit, an astonishing temperature compared to the relatively modest 10,000 degrees of our sun. When we look at what's inside a neutron star, despite being a massive atomic nuclei, it surprisingly shares some similarities with planets. Picture a solid crust covering a liquid core. This crust is exceptionally hard, composed of iron remnants from the supernova phase, tightly pressed into a crystal lattice with a flow of electrons coursing through. As we delve deeper into the neutron star, the relentless force of gravity compels nuclei to draw nearer. As we proceed, the number of protons diminishes, with many merging into neutrons. The journey reaches its zenith at the base of the crust, where nuclei are compressed so intensely that they start touching. This compression leads to a fascinating phenomenon. Protons and neutrons rearrange themselves, forming extended structures like long cylinders or sheets. These colossal structures, resembling spaghetti and lasagna, are aptly termed nuclear pasta by physicists. The concept of nuclear pasta is fascinatingly dense, potentially making it the most robust material in the entire universe, essentially unbreakable. Within a neutron star, these pasta-like lumps can even form mountains, albeit reaching just a few feet in height, yet carrying a mass many times that of the Himalayas. As we delve beneath this pasta layer, we encounter the core. However, the properties of matter under such extreme pressure remain uncertain. Protons and neutrons may dissolve into an ocean of quarks, forming what's known as a quark-gluon plasma. In this extreme state, some of these quarks might transform into strange quarks, a material with unparalleled properties. Alternatively, the core may maintain its structure with protons and neutrons, but we don't know for sure, and the exact nature of matter under these extreme conditions remains an open question in astrophysics. When neutron stars undergo their initial collapse, they start spinning at an incredibly rapid pace, rotating multiple times per second. This rotational motion generates pulses because their powerful magnetic fields produce a beam of radio waves. As they spin, these radio pulsars emit pulses each time their beams cross our line of sight. Among the various types of neutron stars, the radio pulsars are the most well-known, with around 2,000 identified in the Milky Way alone. These neutron stars possess magnetic fields that are the strongest in the entire universe, measuring a quadrillion times more powerful than Earth's magnetic field shortly after their birth. In their early stages, they're referred to as magnetars until they settle down a bit. However, the most intriguing neutron stars are those that form companionships with other neutron stars. By radiating energy in the form of gravitational waves, ripples in space-time, their orbits can gradually decay. Eventually, this gravitational interaction can lead them to collide in a cataclysmic event known as a kilonova explosion, ejecting a significant portion of their mass into space. During this cataclysmic event, conditions become so extreme that, for a brief moment, heavy nuclei are formed once again. This time, it's not the fusion process that's uniting nuclei, but rather the breakup and reassembly of heavy neutron-rich matter. In a remarkable revelation, it has been recently discovered that this process likely serves as the origin for the majority of heavy elements in the universe, including gold, uranium, platinum, and many others. 
In the aftermath of this collision, the combined mass of the neutron stars may collapse further, culminating in the formation of a black hole, a celestial demise marking the end of their cosmic journey. This intricate cosmic dance not only emphasizes the role of stellar deaths in creating elements, but adds the poetic notion that stars, in a sense, have to die twice to contribute to the rich tapestry of elements in the cosmos. Over the span of millions of years, the atoms forged in the cosmic furnaces of neutron stars disperse into the vastness of the galaxy. Some of these atoms find their way into interstellar clouds, where gravity brings them together once more, giving rise to the birth of new stars and planets. This cyclical process repeats itself over and over. Our own solar system stands as a testament to this cosmic recycling. The elements crafted in the crucible of neutron stars over a journey spanning 13 billion years have played a pivotal role in shaping the entire technological marvel of our modern world. Well, spacers, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and click the bell to be notified of new and awesome space content. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.